I can't be the only double Z list reviewer who's felt the need to fall back and regroup after America's recent self immolation. I know many of us are feeling fatigued, and also it's Christmas time, I work in retail, so are you interested in signing up for one of our loyalty cards? But at last, I've been teased out of my hole by Rob Ulitsky's VR. A short film with just the right combination of elements for it to be impossible for me to ignore. This is a curiously low-key film, though it does feature some rich and distinctive elements. The title might suggest that it's straight science fiction, but it's actually more speculative with horror themes. The virtual reality technology suggested in the title is actually the spine of the story rather than its most pertinent theme. Also, there's softcore sodomy. Imagine that you could relive the happiest and most significant moments of your life. You could visit an arcade or walk through an underpass. Exercise like a spaz or hook up with the man of your dreams in a red room. A room that's red, not a dark web red room. Now imagine having to experience the agonising dark shadow of those moments. Something which has been corrupted by your sense of guilt, either real or imagined. VR is just a feel-good film about yearning and denial and regret and obsession and being mutilated by a Japanese urban legend. What? Online and IRL, Tom here wants to recapture the good times with his former lover, Jack. Unfortunately, the Kuchisake owner swans in and cuts shit up. Of course, as we all know, the Kuchisake owner is the malicious spirit of a woman mutilated by her husband because of her infidelities. Her appearance in VR is highly conspicuous, but appropriate to an uncanny degree. Besides porn, few things have flourished on the internet like urban legends. Ona, as she's known to her friends, is mimetic. In fact, her appearance is described in the context of a virus. Also, her legend hinges on the cosmetic, on how reality compares to what we perceive. Our memories of times good and bad are unreliable and often contradictory to the facts. The film notes that the VR headset actually draws information from social media content. And if it's one thing we all know, it's that when people post about their lives online, they're always completely honest and straightforward. Tom hopes that his new toy is going to provide relief and release for his sad and lonely lot. But his idealised world is based upon half-truths and delusions and bittersweet memories, and there's always going to be consequences. Though not necessarily what he might have expected. There really is a lot to like here. VR is unexpected and inventive and self-assured without being flashy or obnoxious. Also, I'm really interested to see what Yulitsky does next because his website advertises something called Pastel Wasteland. It seems to be a mixture of content with a tone similar to VR, but an aesthetic which reminded me of youth hymns and... You guys know how much I love youth him, so yeah, I'm looking forward to what this guy's going to do next.